We begin tonight with disturbing new details in the case of a Phoenix police officer accused of possessing child pornography. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 10. I'm Kariba Devine. I'm Mark Curtis. 12 News has obtained federal court records detailing how the FBI identified the officer as a suspect. 12 News journalist Bianca Bono has been reading through those records tonight and joins us in studio with the latest developments. Bianca? Yeah, guys, the details in these records are hard to stomach, but they give us insight on just how quickly the FBI was able to put this investigation in motion and ultimately make an arrest. The tip came into the FBI's Phoenix Division in mid-February. A la Bartley, a Phoenix police patrol officer with the department since 2007, was possibly involved in a child pornography case. Today, less than two months later, Bartley is in federal custody, and new records lay out how the FBI honed in on their suspect. The case started with a national web of alleged child predators. At the center, a Michigan woman named Sarah Chadwick, accused of exchanging explicit images depicting child sexual abuse material with multiple people across the country. She was arrested in November of last year, and through interviews with the FBI and analysis of her phone, they learned who many of those people were, including a man in in Arizona, who began his communication with her in August of 2020. Records allege the man, who would later be confirmed to be Bartley, identified himself as Alex Batway, but admitted to being a Phoenix police officer, even sharing his badge number in one message obtained by authorities, even saying, it's pretty bad that I'm a pedo cop. Records show he told Chadwick of his plans to molest children himself. After reviewing the disturbing conversations, the FBI executing search warrants last week on a Phoenix police substation and at Bartley's Gilbert home. Records show they found a phone which contained a password-protected folder with 49,000 images and more than 700 videos, many of which were identified as child pornography. They also discovered more sexually explicit messages about children as recent as last month. No, thank you. Bartley declined to comment to 12 News on Thursday, the day before his arrest. Phoenix PD says he's on administrative leave and in response to 12 News asking if he ever worked cases involving children or sex crimes, a spokesperson said he has not held an investigative position. And officials are still waiting on forensic analysis of Bartley's second phone, which also contained a password protected folder. He's due back in federal court on Friday. We're live in studio tonight. Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca, thank you. We're also